Hey guys, this is Simran from Clear Tax and this is Prarthana from Clear Tax as well. Well, Prarthana, what do you think should be the topic for today's video? Mm, yeah, now that we have answered quite a few frequently asked questions on different topics, why don't we go for NPS today? That's a great idea. So today, let's answer some questions on the national pension system. So let's begin. Yes, let's answer the simplest question first. Who can subscribe to the national pension system or the NPS? Well, the answer to that is any citizen in the age group of 18 to 65 years as on the date of submission of his or her application to the POP SP can join NPS except for the government subscribers who are mandatorily covered under NPS. The next question is can a subscriber open more than one NPS account? No, Simran. A subscriber cannot open more than one NPS account. Moving on to the third question. Is there any restriction on frequency of contribution? There is no restriction in terms of frequency of contribution. Subscriber has the option to make the contribution in any mode. That is monthly, quarterly, half yearly or yearly. Also, subscriber can make ad hoc contribution as well. The next question is, can subscriber increase or decrease the contribution amount in subsequent years? Well, the answer to your question, Simran, is yes. Yes, absolutely. NPS does offer this flexibility. Subscribers are allowed to alter the contribution amount as per their suitability. Moving on to the next question, Simran, are there any types for the same? Like, what are the different types of account under NPS? Well, the answer to that is, under NPS account, there are two types of accounts, Tier 1 and Tier 2. Tier 1 account is a mandatory account. The applicant shall contribute his or her savings for retirement into this condition and restricted withdrawable account. Tax benefits can be claimed against the contributions made in Tier 1 account whereas Tier 2 account is a voluntarily savings facility. The applicant will be free to withdraw his or her savings from this account. This is not a retirement account and applicant cannot claim any tax benefits against contributions to this account. The next question is, can the subscriber change the fund allocation pattern under active choice? Yes, absolutely, Simran. Subscribers can switch the asset allocation pattern under active choice twice in a financial year. Moving on to the seventh question. Is partial withdrawal allowed from Tier 1 NPS account? Yes, subscriber on completion of 3 years in NPS is permitted to partially withdraw from his or her account subject to maximum of 25% of the contributions made by the subscriber for higher education of his or her children, for marriage of his or her children, for purchase or construction of residential house or flat and for treatment of specified illnesses. Well, the next question is, can a subscriber switch between active choice and auto choice? Yes, this can be done twice in a financial year. Moving on to the ninth question, can a subscriber change the annuity service provider? No Prathra, the subscriber cannot change the annuity service provider. The next question is, when an employee leaves the job, what would happen to PRAN account? The employee can shift the corpus to new employer with same PRAN account if the new employer is already a registered entity under NPS. But if not, then employee can continue the PRAN account under all citizen model. Now moving on to the 11th question. Can NPS account be opened jointly with spouse, children, relative etc? No Prathna, NPS account can be opened only in individual capacity and cannot be opened for operated jointly or for on behalf of HUF. The next question is, what happens if subscriber retire early? There is a provision of withdrawal in case of early withdrawal. Next, whether employees have facility of loan or advances under NPS, whether a lion can be marked on NPS account? Well, there is no such provision under NPS. Moving on, what benefit would family of employee get when the employee covered under NPS expired during the service? Simran, in case of unfortunate event, the nominee will receive 100% of the NPS pension wealth in lump sum. Moving on to the 15th question. How many nominees are allowed under NPS? Can a minor be a nominee? Well, the answer to that is a subscriber is allowed to register up to three nominees in NPS. And yes, minor can be a nominee as well. Moving on to the last question that is, how long does it take to reflect NPS contribution? 
For any online portal, the contribution is credited in PRANs on transaction plus two-day basis subject to receipt of clear funds from payment gateway service provider. Well, Prathana, I think we've answered quite a few questions. But if you still have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Absolutely. Also, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Pay Taxes YouTube channel for regular videos on finance. Stay tuned, stay happy and take care.